Hey, welcome back to the channel. So since January 1st of 2020, I've written an email almost every day to my list. And one of the most common questions I'm asked is where do I get all the ideas for my daily emails? Where do I get my inspiration from? And how do I have enough ideas to go over a long period of time? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer that question. I'm gonna reveal seven different places that I've used to find inspiration and money-making email ideas that I could send out to my list. And these are seven places that you'll be able to go to whenever you need to write a sales generating email, either for your own list or for a client. Now, this will also be super valuable to you, not just for email, but for any content that you're creating. So whether you're on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, whatever it is, you can use these seven places that I share in this video to come up with content ideas for whatever platform that you're creating on. Now, before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that already. Doing that lets me know that you're enjoying the content, you're getting value out of it. It also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this content as well. So if you wanna be helpful, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified for all of my future videos. You can share it to other people who can benefit too. And with that said, let's jump into the seven weird places that I found money-making email ideas right now. Now, number one is people I disagree with. So on social media, I purposely follow people that I don't agree with. They might have different opinions than me or different views or perspectives on a certain topic, and I purposely go out of my way to follow these people. Now, you might be wondering, why would I do that? If I don't agree with the person, wouldn't that be annoying for me to go out and follow them? And the answer is yes, it can be annoying, it can be frustrating, but also it helps me to see an another side that I'm not already looking at. And following these people and seeing the other side makes for amazing us versus them emails. I can also create emails pointing out why my way of thinking or my solution or offer might be better than a competitor's or better than somebody else who thinks a different way than I do. So for example, I follow this guy on Twitter, I'm not gonna say his name, but he is all about pinching pennies and living extremely frugally and just saving up, saving up everything that you have and living on a very shoestring budget. And me personally, I don't agree with that. I grew up with a very cheap family and I hated that way of living. And I think a better way to live is to be developing your skills and increasing your income so that you can afford the things that might be nicer, fancier, more expensive in life. And these make for super juicy emails because I can talk about things like instead of living frugally, why not focus on increasing your income and developing money-making skills, which if you're on my list, you see me talking about this a lot. So that's number one, following people I disagree with. That gives me ideas of emails to write in the us versus them style. And it also helps me to see what my market and what my potential customers, the ideas that they're being exposed to so I can address those in my emails as well. Number two are subreddits. And Reddit is a gold mine for email ideas. The stories, the debates, discussions that you're gonna find on Reddit are very interesting, it's second to none, and you could just spend entire days going through that and finding email ideas that will last you for years. So for example, recently I started following the subreddit called Fatfire, and I follow, started following a few weeks ago, and I'll spend an hour every evening just going through it. And it's about people who are building wealth and net worths in the three million to 100 million plus range. And there are hundreds of stories on this subreddit of people from all different types of backgrounds, right? Nine to five entrepreneurs, stock traders, real estate developers who are building wealth and they, they're sharing their stories and they're sharing their struggles and the good and the bad. And each thread that I go through on this subreddit can turn into its own email idea or multiple email ideas. So I could spend just an hour or two every day going through this subreddit, being entertained, just taking down ideas as I go through this, and I'd have email ideas for years just from this fat fire subreddit. So I'd recommend going to Reddit, going to subreddit, finding one that's around your industry or around something that your audience is interested in, and just going through it and taking email ideas from that every day. So that's number two, subreddits. Number three is negative Amazon reviews. This is so good, this is one of my secret weapons for writing sales and product focused emails. So what I like to do for both myself and for clients is I'll go to Amazon and I'll try to find a product that's similar to the product or the offer that I'm selling. And I'll look at the best selling products. A lot of the time it's gonna be books. And I'll go through the best selling products and I'll go straight to the review section and I sort by negative reviews. And the reason I go to negative reviews and not just the positives is because I wanna see what people hate about the other products, the other similar products out there. And I'll just make a list of all these things that people hate about the offers that are already out there. And what I'll do is I'll take each of these things, every negative feedback about the other similar products out there, and I'll write an email about it, addressing why my product solves that problem or solves that pain and how it's better than the other offerings out there. You can even use this exercise for, for product ideas, for coming up with products to create. 
And this is actually how I got the idea for my seven day super fast sales email challenge was I went on Amazon and I was looking at the top email marketing books and I was looking at the negative reviews. And a lot of the negative reviews were saying that these books were too complicated. They were go going over way too many concepts at once and it was too hard to understand what to apply and what to do first. So I thought, why not create a very simple product that just teaches you the anatomy of an email that sells and how to write your first email that sells and focus on nothing else, right? No autoresponder sequences, no full-blown daily email strategies, no autoresponder tech or anything like that, just how to write an email that sells, right? Address that one main thing and keep it really simple. And that product has become one of my most popular products. And that all came from looking at negative reviews on Amazon of email marketing books, which are similar products to what I sell. So that's number three, negative Amazon reviews. Go through these reviews and look at what people are complaining about for similar products to yours and create emails around why your product addresses those problems or addresses those negative things and how it's better because of that. Now, number four is TV shows and movies. And I'm sure you've heard the gurus telling you, you can't be successful or you can't make money if you watch TV, you watch movies, you watch Netflix. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you know how to use it in the right way, that is absolutely false. Some of my most profitable ideas and emails have come from watching a TV show that's popular or, or a movie and tying that back to my offer. So for example, last year I watched a show, I binge watched a show called Lucifer. You might've heard of it, it's on Netflix, very popular show. And at the end of every episode, there is just this massive cliffhanger that makes you wanna watch the next episode, right? Very common in the TV space for popular shows. And at the time, I was creating YouTube videos all on different topics and they were all just standalone one-off videos. But as I was watching Lucifer, and as I was seeing this, at the end of every episode, there's a cliffhanger that led into the next episode, I thought, hmm, why not create some kind of mini series on my own, on my YouTube channel, that leads from one video to the next, and have this little cliffhanger effect that makes people wanna watch the next episode. And that led to me creating my email marketing Rainmaker video series on YouTube. You can go and watch that. It's a five part video series. And that leads to my Facebook group as well, Email Marketing Rainmakers. So once somebody watches those videos, they're directed to my group. And since I've launched it about 12 months ago, I now have 1600 group members in the Email Marketing Rainmakers group. And I've also generated multiple six figures in sales on info products, coaching and consulting, through that group. And it all came from watching this TV show, Lucifer. That's where the idea came from. Now, more recently, I watched a show called Loki on Disney Plus, and it gave me a few ideas for emails. And I wrote up a couple emails that brought in 11K in sales in just a few days. So watching TV and movies and staying up to date on pop culture and finding out ways to tie it back to what you're offering can be extremely profitable if you go into it with the mindset of, I'm trying to keep my mind open and I'm gonna capture these ideas as they come along. So that's number four is TV shows and movies. Number five is Quora.com. I've told so many people about Quora in my previous videos and in person and people that I talk to in coaching groups, but nobody seems to wanna to use it because it seems like this boring platform. Now, if you don't know what Quora is, it's literally a question and answer platform. And you can find almost any niche or industry on Quora, and you can see exactly the questions that people are asking about that niche or that industry or that topic. Now, this is a gold mine for you if you're an email marketer, if you're a content creator, because all you have to do is find your topic on Quora, join that topic, join the discussion, and look at all the questions being asked. It's usually dozens, maybe even hundreds of questions being asked, and every one of those questions you can take and just write an email answering that question. This is super easy because all the work's done for you. The questions are being asked. All you gotta do is take those questions and answer it in your own email. Easy peasy. This is probably the lowest hanging fruit out of any of the other things on this list. So that's number five is Quora.com. Number six is one of my personal favorites, and that is mean comments and trolls. Now, if you have any kind of audience, whether it's small, medium, or big, you're always gonna have some people that just don't like you. They're gonna be haters, they're gonna troll on all your stuff and leave mean comments about the way that you look, the way you sound, the, the things that you're talking about. And one of my favorite things to do is to turn each of these trolls and these mean comments into emails that sell. And I learned this from the, the great Ben Settle, Anytime that someone trolls him, he takes it and he immediately writes an email about it and he turns it into a sale in their honor, is what he calls it. So I think it's genius and whenever I get a troll or a mean comment, what I do is I take a screenshot of it, I add it to a Google Drive folder, and the next day I will write an email talking about that troll or that mean comment and tying it back to one of my offers. So for example, I recently had this YouTube hater and he left a comment on one of my Twitter growth videos 
And he was saying something like, oh, this guy tweets a lot. He should have way more followers than what he actually has. And so I was like, okay, let's click over to his profile and see how many followers he has. He had 11 Twitter profile followers. And so the next day I wrote an email about how those who can't do it themselves will spend their entire days, their entire lives, just critiquing other people who do good work and trying to tear them down. And just taking this troll's comment and using it in an email and tying it back to my offer it led to a pretty good sales day for me. So whenever you get mean comments or trolls or people that are hating on you, you should thank them because you could use that as an email to generate even more sales for you and your business. So that's number six is mean comments and trolls. And number seven, the final one is hobbies outside of work. So some of my hobbies outside of work are golfing, surfing, watching and training in mixed martial arts. Uh, recently, I've been into researching crypto and NFTs because it's hot again. So yeah, obviously. And I also like to drink whiskey and beer and I like to party with my friends. And all I'm really doing with these hobbies is just taking my experiences and my stories and the ups and downs and the lessons that I'm learning as I'm going through and doing these hobbies and enjoying myself. And I'm just turning it into an email. Usually it's like a story-based email. And the reason these do well with sales is because it shows who you are as a person. And if somebody's on your email list, that's what they wanna see. They wanna see the person behind the business. They wanna see you as a person and the things that you like and don't like and what your day-to-day -day life is like. So if someone is on your list, they want to see that side of you. They wanna see the personal side of you. Now, the other important thing here is that these hobbies should not be work-related, right? Something that's outside of your job and outside of the nine to five or whatever you're working on. And if you don't have any hobbies outside of work, go get some. I promise it'll pay you back and it'll be good for your mental health and your, also your physical health if you're picking the right hobbies. And it'll lead to some good sales days for your emails. And that was number seven. And the last one, hobbies outside of work. So those were the seven weird places that I found money-making email ideas from. And even if you just picked one or two from this list to go off and do on your own, you would have email ideas, money-making email ideas for literally years. So the next time that you're stuck wondering what to write about or what to send an email about, just go back to this video, pick one of the items on this list or one of the places on this list to find ideas and just go through it. You're gonna find an idea in minutes. Also, if you're interested in how to write emails that sell, and you wanna get on my email list to see how I write my emails, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group. You'll be able to join my group and my list for free where I talk a lot more about that, how to write emails that sell, and you can actually see my emails firsthand. So go ahead and do that if you're interested in learning more about how to write emails that sell. Again, emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you straight there where you can join for free. Alrighty, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.